What's up, Elite Thenx athletes? It's Chris Heria. Welcome to another video of Official Thenx. Today we're going to be continuing the series, How I Got So Strong, and today we'll be covering calisthenics versus weights. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so let's get started. So today we're going to be going over weights versus calisthenics, continuing the How I Got So Strong series. Now before we begin, I just want to tell you guys, joggers, our Thenx joggers, our new style, brand new style, finally back in the shop. Go pick yours up today. I know restocking joggers has been like the top comment of every single video. Guys, don't worry anymore. They're up in the shop right now. You can go and buy them right now. And it's the brand new Thenx jogger style. I mean, these things feel amazing. They literally feel like I'm not even wearing anything. So super dope. You guys got to try them. All right, so let's get into this video. So today we're talking about calisthenics versus weight. Well, let's begin by defining both of them. Calisthenics is when you are training with your body weight. You're using your body weight to work out. Weight training is using an external resistance, using weight to work out. When you're training with calisthenics, it's gonna focus more on body control and body engagement, relative strength, how strong you are relative to your body weight. Now, weights focuses more on targeted muscles, specifically your maximum strength how much maximum overload force you can produce. Now, when you're training calisthenics, you're really gonna be engaging your fast twitch muscles, body control, and your core engagement. These are the main things that you're gonna be developing with calisthenics. When you're training with weight, you're gonna be developing your power specifically, how much force you can possibly exert on an external weight, external resistance. Now, let me give you a hypothetical situation. You see a lot of guys in the gym and they can bench 400 pounds, they can row 400 pounds, whatever, can do massive amount of weight. They have crazy amount of power, right? But then you tell them to go do 20 push-ups and they can't even do 20 push-ups, they can't even do 10 pull-ups to save their life. Why? That's because weight training does not translate into calisthenics. It does not translate into body weight control, body weight training, relative strength. However, someone training in calisthenics training the right way with the right programming is actually gonna be able to use the skills and the strength they applied into the weight room. Because when you're training calisthenics, you're creating a body connection. You are mainly engaging your core whenever you're doing any exercise involuntarily. Whether you like it or not, you're strengthening your core with every exercise. And you're gonna have a body control. You're gonna have this body awareness where you're gonna be able to use your core to help with your lift. Use your core to help with your press. Use the leverage of accessing other muscles in your body to use your body as one unit to apply strength and force that is gonna have you produce the moves that you want to do, which is obviously gonna get you to the next level. You're lifting heavier, you're doing more repetitions, you're getting stronger. Now, even though calisthenics translates into the weight room, and there are aspects that you will gain from calisthenics, such as the body awareness, the core engagement, and the fast twitch activations that are gonna help you in the weight room, it doesn't mean necessarily that you're gonna go in there and be lifting crazy amounts of weight. Because to acquire that, you must be lifting heavy. And you cannot necessarily do that in calisthenics because you're using body weight training. You can only train as much as you weigh or as much weight as you can put on your body when it comes to calisthenics or body weight training. That's not gonna be nearly as much as the weight that you can put on a barbell or the amount of weight you can hold in your hand with a dumbbell. That is why it is so much easier to put on a lot more mass with weights. And it's easier to create more power with weights because you're gonna be able to use a lot more external force to your advantage. Now, there's not one training style that's better than the other. There's certain aspects that you're gonna get from one training style and certain aspects that you're gonna get from the other one. And specifically, exercises. There's some exercises, calisthenics exercises, that are gonna benefit you so greatly that you can never do with weight training. And there are weight training exercises that are gonna greatly benefit you that you're never gonna be able to reproduce through calisthenics. And I'm gonna show you that in this workout that we're gonna do today. So to sum it all up, what you get from calisthenics is relative strength, body control, core engagement, and activation of your fast twitch muscles, being able to reproduce boom power as fast as you can. And weights will help you increase mass more efficiently and easier, as well as gain your maximum strength and power by targeting specific muscles and giving it a maximum overload 
an amount of weight that you can never do with calisthenics on isolated muscle groups. So now I'm gonna show you guys the workout that's gonna bring best of both worlds, all right? If you're just doing one calisthenics, you're not gonna get the benefits from weight training. And if you're just doing weight training, you're not gonna get the benefits from calisthenics. You gotta do both to become the ultimate athlete. In fact, do as many things as you can. Don't just do weights and calisthenics. Do skateboarding, wakeboarding, whatever it is that gets you active and that takes you out of your comfort zone, takes you outside of the box and has you activating your body in new ways that you've never done before. It's normally the things that you never do those are the things that you need to do. So now we're gonna go for this whole body workout. We're gonna start off with muscle ups. After our muscle ups, we're gonna go straight into clean and press. From there, we're gonna do some around the world. After that, we're gonna go into deadlifts. Then we're gonna go into L-sit front lever. Then we have squats, and we're gonna finish off with wall walk, handstand, press. So if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start off with some muscle ups. Now this is a move right here, like I was saying before, you can't replicate this with weight training. This is a specialized calisthenics move that's gonna get you to the next level, have you engaging your whole entire body, giving you that body connection, body engagement. Here we go. We just made our original custom resistance bands. So if you guys need them to take your training to the next level, go ahead on the Thenx shop. You can pick up yours today. If they're not already on the shop, it should be in there within a couple of days, all right guys? And if you guys still need help on your muscle up, you want the step-by-step -step approach, the easiest way to do it and to master it, perfect form, just like I did, become a member of thenx.com have full access to all our technique guides and all our workout programs to get to the next level. Or you can watch the many videos that we've already uploaded on how to muscle up on this YouTube channel. All right, let's move on. We're gonna go into clean press. This move is a great move to combo with the muscle up. This is literally like doing the reverse, the opposite of the muscle up. Instead of coming down and going all the way up, you're starting from here and going all the way up like that. All right, so let's go for it. Clean and press. You want to stand shoulder width apart, grab the bar right outside of your knees. All right, here we go. I love training core, and as I said before, having strong core engagement is gonna increase your lifts, increase all the other aspects of your training. So now we're gonna go for some around the world. Guys, make sure you're using clean form. Don't be wiggling around, all right? No momentum, just lift. Here we go. To make it easier, when you're coming up on one side, Hold that hand tight. I'm gonna hold this side tight. Make sure your legs are straight there too. All right, make sure you're breathing at all times. All right, so let's move it on to deadlifts. Here we go, start shoulder width apart. Straight down. Get a nice, good, strong grip. All right, guys, let's go for it. Let's fast straight. All right, 
This is a tough one, guys. Alright, you guys can't do this move. Just try to hold the L stick, try to do some leg raises. If you want to know how to do front lever, of course, sign up to thenx.com. Get full access to all our technique guides, all our workout programs. I don't know what you're waiting for if this is what you really want to do. It's time to get to the next level. Moving on, we got squats. Perfect example of an exercise you cannot necessarily get from calisthenics. I don't care how many pistol squats you do, I don't care how many jumping squats you do, you will not be as strong as a person squatting like this. It's just simple. You may have a better body connection, better balance, better core engagement by doing these pistol squats and these plyometric jump squats and stuff like that, but that power comes from this external weight right here. All right, so do your squats. Here we go. exercise, wall walks, to handstand push-ups. Don't get lazy now. Put in the work right here. In fact, go as hard as you can now. It's your last move. Do it as perfect and as hard as you can. No excuses. That's going to get you to the next level. You got to keep that mentality. Remember, there's benefits from doing calisthenics and benefits from doing weights that you can't necessarily get from doing one or the other. So do both to get both benefits, to be a complete athlete, to take your training to the next level, to take your body and your life to the next level. And if you guys want complete workout programs to take your training to the next level, become a beast, not just look strong, but train and actually be strong, become a member right now at thenx.com. Gain full access to all our workout programs, all our technique guides, full access to all our music here on this YouTube channel, and download our app to take our workouts and programs with you everywhere. It's like having us as a personal trainer inside your pocket. And if you guys need a little extra push during your workouts, of course, you wanna pick up some Thenx Ignite. 
It's our pre-workout that's gonna have you flying through your workouts. We have just restocked our whole shop with the brand new joggers, we stocked our shirts, we got new equipment on the way, Thenx rings, Thenx resistance bands. Guys, go to thenx.com slash shop to get your hands on all our fresh, new, cool gear. Guys, remember, we post every Sunday at 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. The first person to comment and like the video has to be a real comment. Guys, it can't just be one little letter or something like that. It's not gonna work anymore. The first person to comment and like the video is always gonna win a Thenx prize every Sunday. Guys, one more thing. We just hit 700K subscribers. I mean, I feel so honored and I thank you guys so much. I really love you guys and appreciate all the support and love that you guys have been sending our way. And to show my appreciation for you guys, I wanna put out so much more content, but I'm gonna be doing it on my personal YouTube channel so I can specifically answer all the video requests that you guys have been giving me. So when we hit 1 million subscribers, I'm gonna be uploading my first video onto the personal Chris Harriot page. Guys, go and subscribe to that page right now if you wanna be the first ones in on the Chris Haria YouTube videos. It's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna be letting go of all my secrets, all my tips, all my techniques on that page in a more casual form. And of course, I'm gonna be doing giveaways on that channel too. Make sure you go ahead, subscribe right now. You can subscribe by going onto the Thenx YouTube channel and clicking the related channels on the right side. You'll see my personal Chris Haria page. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next Sunday. Love you, peace.